Hi there, I'm Andrea from ACDC, and in this video, I'll show you how to create a colorful stylized portrait effect using ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate. First, create a new image. Select File, New, Image. Name your file and set the size. Drag your portrait photo onto the Layers panel. Make sure your aspect ratio is locked and resize the photo so the subject is centered. Remove the background. I'm going to use the selection brush, set to magic, to select the background around my subject. Then I'll turn off the magic brush setting and finish selecting the background. I'm not using a layer mask because I'll be adding an outline layer effect eventually, so by removing the background completely, I will get the look I want. Once the background is selected, press Alt and Delete to delete the selection. Press Alt and D to deselect the selection. Open the exposure pane and increase the contrast and fill light. Add a threshold adjustment layer. Adjust this as you see fit. Add a gradient map adjustment layer. Choose saturated high contrast colors. Now, just as an aside, I'm going to save these gradient map colors I've chosen because I think I'll use one of them for the background color. So to save a color for future reference, just open the foreground background color selector, click on the eyedropper and select a color in your image. Then right click on one of the empty squares in the color selector to save it. Select the photo layer and duplicate it. Convert the copied layer to black and white. I'm also going to increase the brightness just a touch. Copy this layer so you have two black and white layers. We'll use one for texture and one for outline. With one of the black and white layers selected, click Special Effect. Add a crosshatch effect. Move this layer below the other black and white layer and set the blend mode to luminosity. When I hide the top layer, you can see the crosshatch effect adds texture to the portrait photo. Now we will add the outline. Select the top black and white layer and add an outline special effect. Set the background color to white and adjust the line width and threshold. Set this layer blend mode to multiply. Now we are ready to add the background. Select the bottom layer. Set the foreground color. I'm going to use one of my saved colors just by opening the color selector and clicking on my saved yellow square. Now fill the background using the paint bucket tool. I'm also going to clip the threshold and gradient map layers to my portrait layer. Now add an outline layer effect to the top layer. Select the top layer and click layer effects. Select outline. Set the color to black and reduce the blur and thickness. You can see there are parts of the background on the portrait image that I missed when I was removing the background. So I'll just erase those now on the portrait layers. And that is done. You can easily change the colors by picking new colors for the gradient map and the background layer. You can create a whole canvas of these. Thanks for following along.